preserve our relationship with God. It is my hope that things that we have learned at New Catholic will strengthen your mission to stay close to God and to try and the challenges you face in the future. Surely you will receive your diploma that signifies you have met the requirements of New Catholic schools. You have demonstrated that your faith is a very important part of your life. You have been given a strong Catholic foundation. Continue to practice that faith. Continue to build upon the foundation you have been given. You have been given a firm foundation. Now it's on your shoulders to build your house of faith. I want to congratulate you on your graduation from the New Catholic schools. You will walk away today, but the door will never shut upon you. You will always be an alumni of New Catholic schools. And this building will always be open to you. May God be with you. Thank you. 
experience, but we were able to overcome the disruption it created. We have learned the importance of service to others and how a small act of kindness can have a profound impact on someone's life. Fellow graduates, I have learned enough from you to say confidently that we will all go on to accomplish wonderful things in the future. Yes, this includes our future occupations and what we professionally set out to do. But just as important, if not more, this includes being good fathers, mothers, friends, citizens, and Christians. I advise you to use the education, experiences, and relationships you have gained from me as a foundation moving forward. They will prove to be invaluable resources in the future. Now, in a few short months, many of us will once again be walking into a classroom full of unfamiliar faces, just as we did so long ago. Rest assured, everything will work out. And I know this because as I look out into the crowd at what were once unfamiliar faces, I now see my own friends. Our journey together has prepared us for our next step. And even though we may be separated physically, the relationships we have built together will remain in our hearts as we move on from this chapter of our lives. In closing, I would like to share with you a quote from St. John Newman. It is a quote that many of us have probably heard before, but it speaks volumes about God's plan for each of us. It states, God created you to do some particular service. He has given some work to you that he has not given to another. You have your mission, you shall do so. As we prepare to move on, I want to stress how this is not your goodbye. The term commencement, which we are here to celebrate, actually means to begin or start. There's absolutely no reason for us to say goodbye to each other. The truth is, our experiences within these walls and the lessons we have learned here are now a part of us. The friendships we have made will remain and even strengthen. I have no doubt that we will move through this next chapter the same way we went through the many chapters before, together.
expression and reflection? Does what you say match what you mean? I would argue that we've done a bit of a disservice by focusing on that skill at the expense of the spoken word. Sit quietly, raise your hand, send me a message, write it down, don't talk. How many times have you guys heard these words over the last 13 years? Sorry, English department. I would argue that spoken words should be selected with equal, if not greater care, than any assignment ever drafted, including capstone. Roll your eyes if you must, but I find phrases like, terrified of this test, I'm sorry, that's impossible, somewhat cringy to borrow a phrase, because they don't actually mean those things. When people casually throw out phases, phrases such as, I'm going to die if I don't pass, it devalues the words, and the speaker's intent gets lost in the noise of the crowd. A sharp tongue might get you recognition for a moment, but it never ends well. Just ask Chris Rock and Will Smith. If you want to stand out, speak up. Interact with your professors, volunteer to present at clubs, take a leadership role in a meeting, or simply voice your opinion. When someone says they've had a bad day or needs help, respond to what they have said. A simple I hear you speaks volumes, and when you speak, do so with confidence and conviction and kindness. This goes for speaking for yourself as well as others. And absolutely do not wait to be called on to do it. Look for the evidence. If the last two years and social media have taught us anything, it is that everyone is an expert. Claims are made far and wide in advertising by news reporters, sports analysts, and Twitter has taken this to a whole new level. Information comes in sound bites from someone who speaks with authority, and textbook classrooms are no exception. There is a lecture, you write it down, and occasionally there may be a discussion. Parents, I'm happy to report that your students have not always had a textbook education here at Newman. Some of my favorite feedback from student centers on how hard that they have to think in class. You have been prepared to seek the truth. Claims must be supported by evidence. Without it, they're just opinions. Wikipedia is not a credible source, nor is your first hit on Google. Always ask the important questions, how and why, when you see new information. And as you leave this building behind, it is important to apply that to everything you hear. Do your own research. Check the credentials of those who speak with authority, including your professors. Keep asking questions. And finally, we have prepared your kids for failure because being perfect teaches you nothing. No one in the senior class is surprised by this statement from me, but as a student of mine, they will tell you outright that things never go perfect, particularly in the lab. AP Biology had DNA that disappeared yesterday. Environmental science struggled with engineering a wind powered car. The brains meant for dissection were allowed in us. Seeds did not grow, capstone proposals were rejected. I could go on and on, but it was okay because perfect teaches you nothing. Somewhere along the way, society has developed this mindset that if it's not perfect, you fail. And I'm here to tell you what I say to the students all year long, that is okay. Failure is okay. What is not okay is letting that be your legacy. Some of you too may not do well either on your first exam, but the difference
are alumni of New England Catholic High School. You will know this is not a measure of your self-worth, but an opportunity to learn more. You will fail forward, and you will rise above. Rebecca Maria Lorraine.
the spring cause of the 2019 2020 school year upended certain realities in your life and set the stage for new norms as the 2020 2021 year started. You became accustomed to the laws of technical activities and peer interactions and you trusted to modify or cancel events. Part of your high school memories will be mass cohorts in Google Meets for remote instruction. You have been made fully aware that things can change very quickly and that there are outside forces over which you simply have no control. Despite the uncertainty, you endure, and you have grown in spite of and because of it. You show that you are capable of rising to the challenge of abrupt change and helping the school back to a sense of normalcy this year. In doing so, you have learned that there are things that you can control. My challenge for you as you turn the page on the next chapter of your stories is to do your part to make the world a better place for yourselves, your friends, your families, and even strangers. Use the lessons you've learned to help the people around you. Look to lift people up instead of bringing them down. Our words and interactions with others matter. They have the ability to be transformative, and they are completely within our control. As Mr. Bruin had mentioned, if you have not quite realized the end of going through the doors of Moon Cat High School as students for the last time, you are now and forever will be Moon Catholic alumni. As a long you will always be welcome back, and though you may come back as individuals, your visit will remind us of your class collectively. For me personally, I will always remember this class as being the last one that I taught in the classroom, and the first one that graduated while serving as principal. I hope I will serve you well. God bless. Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit.